Hey y'all, so today I wanted to talk about some of the most important things to know about HIV uh, that I consider to be important. And before we even start, I wanted to briefly cover, you know, go over what HIV is as kind of a refresher. We know that HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus, so it's it's the retrovirus that affects and kills the cells, healthy cells in your immune system, and it, and it specifically targets CD4 cells. And these cells are very important because they allow our body to, you know, fight off infections. And what it does, you know, it starts killing them, and this weakens our immune system. So once this happens, you know, there comes a point where our immune system is too weak to fight off infections, and it allows for opportunistic infections to take over. And once that happens, you know, we've progressed to AIDS, and, you know, AIDS is fatal. So there's ways that you can prevent this. That's the first thing that we're going to cover, you know, that HIV is preventable. And, and some of the ways that it can be prevented through is, you know, practicing safe sex. And that is, you know, using a condom when engaging in sexual intercourse, you know. It's, it's really important not only to the prevention of HIV itself, but to other sexually transmitted diseases. Another thing that's it's really important in, in the prevention is getting tested. And I feel like I can't stress that enough. Getting tested is really, really important. You know, you, your partner or, or your partners, you know, it's important to, to know what your status is so that, you know, you can act on that information. Another way, you know, is if you're someone who engages in risky sexual behavior, and, and we're going to cover that, what risky behavior is in a little bit is you can take PrEP, which is pre-exposure prophylaxis, and it's a set of two HIV medications, you know, that for those who individuals who are engaging in risky sexual behavior, it gives them an opportunity to kind of like prevent that transmission of, of, of the virus itself. So those are some of the ways that you can prevent it. Um, now we're going to move on to, you know, how can HIV, how is HIV transmitted? And we're also going to cover ways that it can absolutely not be transmitted. So some of the most common ways that HIV can be transmitted is, you know, having unprotected sexual intercourse, whether that be vaginal or anal or performing oral sex on someone who's who's HIV positive, you're, you're at a very high risk you know, of transmitting HIV. So, you know, it's important to, that's why it's important to practice safe sex because you're, you're preventing, you know, onward transmission. Another really common way that HIV is transmitted is through the sharing of needles. So, whether that be, you know, drugs or or you know you name it, it you're you're very very high risk of contracting hiv um another way that hiv can be transmitted is from a mother to a child so this can be through the pregnancy so while the time the child is in the womb transmission can occur through childbirth and through breastfeeding so it's really important, you know, for those HIV positive moms to be on what we call an antiretroviral therapy, which is a, it's a combination of HIV drugs, you know, and taken in a consistent manner and, you know, as prescribed, they can reduce the probability of their child being infected with HIV. It's, it's amazing, which brings us to our last point that it's really important to know is that if you're someone who's HIV positive, um, it's really, really important for you to take your medication as you know prescribed in a timely manner. And this is this is very important because HIV is constantly replicating inside your body, and it's constantly killing these CD4 cells, these healthy cells, and it's constantly mutating. Like it, it, it just mutates so quickly, but you can slow down that mutation by, you know, taking your drugs as prescribed, uh, your antiretroviral. But what happens if you don't, uh, that's the issue. If you don't take them as prescribed, if you don't take them in a timely manner, then what happens is that HIV becomes resistant to those to those drugs that you're on. So the cocktail that you have of, of these HIV medicine, medication, you just... HIV is super smart, you know, and it becomes resistant to those to those drugs. And once that happens, you those drugs will never work for you again, you know. And if you continue to do this, there comes a point. There's 
there's only so many known HIV drugs that can help, you know, not cure HIV, but it can definitely slow it, you know, and and if you don't take your drugs as prescribed, you at some point there won't be no drugs to help you. So that's why it's really, really important to to take your medication. Um, it's important to know that, you know, there's several different ways that you can prevent transmission of HIV. You know, it's important to also know that HIV, the ways in it, it can be transmitted and some, some of the ways that it cannot be transmitted, you know, is you won't get HIV through, you know, casual contact, you know, hugging someone or kissing someone on the cheek, you know, saliva. The, those are ways it can be transmitted along with, you know, mosquito bites. You you won't get HIV through, through mosquitoes and many people know that. So, you know, those are some of the ways there, there there's other really important things to know about HIV, but those are the three most important things I consider to know about HIV, you know. Make sure you know the modes of prevention. Uh, make sure you know the correct ways that it can be transmitted and, and also know why it's important, you know, to take your medication. So, these are some of the things we're, we're going to cover 